Welcome subscribers and new ones. Marie here in Zone 6. And here's a little look at what's going on in the garden. The wave petunias are doing well. These I deadhead. They're the type that do well when you deadhead them. Here's a new addition. This container. I put rockin' deep purple salvia in there, which should fill in nicely and get big. I'm hoping to draw the hummingbirds, uh, so when I look out my back glass door, I'll be able to see them. That's the hope. This is Snowdrift Supertenia Vista, which should fill in and overflow. And Dusty Miller. There's my Autumn Joy Sedum, I love so in both those containers, as well as potato vine, which hopefully will overflow. There's a little look toward the back of the yard. This is mini Vista Indigo you see in the middle, and that should fill in nicely and mound. And there's my hosta that comes back every year stays out here all winter and comes back in a container. This one as well, I try to deadhead. Here are some beacon impatience that I put in this container. I really love beacon. They tend to be very healthy and get full and beautiful. Coming off the back deck, you can see these purple sensation allium are starting to open. And there are plenty more where those came from, which will open soon. And once again, there are beacon and patience I put in below for a pop of color, and they should mound. On the north side of my home, the north garden, this new dawn climbing rose, this is just one cane. This long one you see here has plenty of buds looking good this alexander the great brunira which i call runnera is looking great as well in the north garden my north back fence area i've put this large container at the entrance with super tunia snowdrift super tunia snowdrift as well as bordeaux petunia these are some canna I grew from seed. They should be a canary yellow. And Dusty Miller. There's Autumn Joy Sedum. Quick Fire Fab. And in this container, as well as the one you see there with the pink, I have Bubblegum Supertunia and snowdrift supertunia and they should get huge and they're self-cleaning so they don't have to be deadheaded and dusty miller behind you will see black eyed susie's for a pop of color late in the season and this is august moon hosta i think that's the name of it just beautiful i got those not too long ago maybe a year or two ago and this beauty is the Iceberg Rose. Look at this Clematis. Oh, the blooms. Here's a New Dawn, another New Dawn Climbing Rose. Below that New Dawn, there's another August Moon Hosta. I try to do repetition here and there to make it look cohesive and orderly. Some beacon impatience for a pop of color. And for repetition, another quick fire fab. Another black eyed Susie. Another autumn joy sedum. And I think that's a cute little weed. So I haven't dug it up because it looks cute. In this container, I've put zinnias or zinnias, and some of them are popping up. How exciting. Welcome. 
Here's the mirror I added to my garage. I painted those lines in the middle of the glass to give it more of a window look. And when I look out my, my back glass door, I can look in that mirror and see my plants reflected during the growing season. There are two roses. Let me show you the tag. Jean Boy, 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 Borner, Borner. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And in this container, we have Super Tunia's Silverberry, one of my faves, Dusty Miller, and a Beacon Impatient, which doesn't look like much now, but ooh, it will be lovely. In this long bed, you'll see that's May Night Salvia, some more Purple Sensation Allium, my new Dawn Rose, Yes, another new Dawn Rose. It's an addiction. I love roses. So this new Dawn Rose is filling in well. More Beacon and Patience. This is a Bobo Hydrangea. Catmint. More Beacons for repetition. Here is Roseanne Geranium. And Peonies. That's at least one peony. Another hydrangea, pinstamate, and this columbine. Look at that. I've never seen a columbine that color. So I guess, I don't know, there was some kind of change, maybe because of the soil. More beacon and patience. And here's another August moon hosta. Look at this. Gatsby Pink Oak Leaf Hydrangea. The leaves alone are gorgeous and they turn burgundy in the fall. Look at the buds. Oh, it's going to be fabulous. Summer Substance Hosta as I head towards the Hidden Garden. Got some Pinstamen. Some May Night Salvia. I'm indecisive about where I want to put it. More Columbine. Hookara. And the Hidden Garden is starting to fill in with the Hostas, the Hookara, the Hydrangeas. There's Annabelle's back here. There's a Limelight, Quick Fire Fab. There's a lot but it has a long way to go as far as filling in. The winter sown kale is looking great in the container with the flowers, as well as on the table I built, the cedar table I built years ago, as well as the summon substance I divided and put in containers. And I'm hoping that over time they will fill in and get larger. These crocus roses, David Austin are looking beautiful and they haven't even bloomed yet i think this is one of my favorite roses there's two of them i mean they get so many blooms and the leaves are so pretty a lovely bleeding heart and what you're seeing a lot throughout the garden is bishop's weed which is invasive but beautiful oh boy Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't.